one of the most common questions we get asked is, what is a sales funnel? So here's a quick introduction to sales funnels. In this video, we're going to be outlining what we mean by a sales funnel and why it can be so valuable when it comes to getting subscribers and selling products and services online. Funnels are actually the secret weapon of most successful online marketers. Once you master funnels, you should see a significant increase in your number of subscribers and in your sales and profits. So first things first, why a funnel? It's called a sales funnel because the largest number of people start at the top and become aware of your brand, business, or product. But not everyone passes all the way down to the narrow tip of the funnel. As your prospective customers move from awareness to interest and interest to decision, more and more people will gradually drop out of the funnel. This will leave only a few people who are willing to take action. The action will be to either give their email address or to make a purchase. All of this dropping out means that we tend to call it a sieve rather than a funnel in our marketing group. Because basically, these people can drop out anywhere in the process. It's your job to plug the holes. Your job as a marketer is to first create the funnel or sieve. Then you have to move them to the end without allowing them to drop out. You can do this by plugging the holes. That is, make it as easy and as logical as possible to do business with a company as great as yours. In our marketing group, we divide between free funnels and sales funnels in order to be clear about the goals, process, and mechanics of each type of funnel. In the free funnel, you're giving them a free item in exchange for their email address. You can then send them follow-up emails about different products. Popular free items include checklists, reports, and so on. The emails you send them once they're on your list will lead to one or more sales funnels. The whole goal of a sales funnel is to get them to buy something. You can also drive dra traffic directly to your sales funnels if you wish, trying to get them to buy right away. The problem with this is that if they don't know you, it can be a hard sell. So let's look at an example of what a typical free funnel looks like and how it leads to your sales funnel. In the first place, you create what's called a squeeze page. You're basically squeezing their email address out of them, usually in exchange for a freebie item, as we've discussed. Next, you're going to be giving them an email follow-up series. The follow-up series is going to help them download the free item, and then the other emails that you send will help you build up a relationship with them through content and through offers. The offers will be various items for sale at different price points. These are going to be your sales funnels. If they make a purchase, they go to the download page to get their product. Now the download page can actually be the start of a new sales funnels. Or you can continue sending them emails, and those emails can also be the start of new sales funnels. Now, before you get really excited about creating your own first free funnel, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind before you start. The first is you need to know your niche audience. What are the kinds of things that they would get really excited about as a freebie that would entice them to give you their email address? They would also need to want to get to know your business better through seeing this freebie. Next, you have to create the free item. It could be a checklist, guide, e-course, or something that they will really use. And it has to be high quality. Don't waste their time. Next, you're going to create the squeeze page that we talked about. The whole point of this page is to collect the email address and put them on your email marketing list for that particular topic. Next, you're gonna let them download the free item. You can use a web page and or a welcome email in your email marketing platform. Once they're on your email marketing list, you can then send them to a sales funnel from the freebie download if you wish, or you can start mailing useful content regularly and bring them one by one to the various sales funnels that are related to the niche topic that the list is all about in the first place.
So now that you know what a free funnel looks like, let's look at a simple sales funnel. You've got your main offer, and your main offer is going to be presented to them with a powerful sales letter or sales letter video about your item. You will have bullet points that will talk about the features and the benefits of the product, testimonials about the product, reviews of the product, and a buy now button and 100% money back guarantee. All of these items will add up to building trust and convincing the person to go all the way down to the end of the funnel. Now, once they get to the download page or the thank you for your order page, this can also be the start of yet another sales funnel. Now, the next item can either be a more expensive item or a cheaper item. The more expensive item is usually referred to as an upsell. The cheaper item is usually referred to as the downsell. So in conclusion, we can say that free and sales funnels are a proven method of getting subscribers and making sales. The funnel starts at the point at which they encounter your site to the point of them either being willing to become a subscriber via a free funnel or being willing to buy something from you via a sales funnel through email marketing or directly from your website. Would you like to learn more about free funnels and sales funnels? Then visit the Sales Funnel Spotlight at eternalspiralbooks.com slash sales dash funnels dash spotlight.